Hi. It's still a little early, but sometimes we go to bed a little early on a school night. And I thought today I would read to you this book about interrupting by Joy Berry. These are Help Me Be Good books. And I used to read these to my son when he was a little boy. This is a children's book about interrupting. This book is about Sam. Reading about Sam can help you understand and deal with interrupting. I wish you would stop. That's annoying, isn't it? You are interrupting when you do something that makes it difficult for people to concentrate. I think it's fun. Yuck, yuck, yuck. He's making so much noise that I can't sleep. I think he just concentrates on being quiet. You are interrupting when you do something. What are you doing? I'm trying to read. Smack him on the back of the head. That's not good. Which is hard because he keeps getting interrupted. You are interrupting when you talk when other people are talking. This is a good book as well. I read a book to my boy now back in high school and never get anything read with his interrupting. When someone interrupts you, how do you feel? What do you think? What do you do? This is a good book. It shows all kinds of dinosaurs. Yeah, well, my dad read me a book about sharks. Blah, 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 blah. This kid and shark have something in common. Big jaws. When someone interrupts you, you might feel frustrated and angry. You might think the person is not funny to be with. And you might decide to stay away from that person. Excuse me, but I have to leave. Blah, blah, blah. This kid is about as much fun as a rattlesnake. Avoid interrupting people. That looks pretty big. I think I'll wait until it's too late to fly away. Excuse me, but I hate to interrupt. But maybe it's not plugged in. Try not to interrupt people who are thinking or trying to do something. Avoid talking to them. Do not make noises that would bother them. And do not do things that would upset them. Mom is not going to do her work yet. We'll just wait to talk to her later. Try not to interrupt people who are talking to you. Allow them to finish talking before you speak. Say excuse me if you must interrupt them. And so we went over to Patty's house and we, yeah, and then what? Oops, excuse me. Try not to interrupt people who are talking to each other. Do not talk with them or listen to what they are saying unless you want to join in. Do not get in between people who are talking to each other. Say, excuse me if you must interrupt people who are talking. Excuse me, I'm sorry to bother you, but someone wants to talk to you on the phone. Try not to interrupt people who are talking on the telephone. Avoid talking to them. Do not do anything that would make it difficult for them to hear. And do not do anything that would make it difficult for them to concentrate. I was going to ask Dad a question, but I wait until he's finished talking on the telephone. Do not interrupt people who are listening to something or watching TV. Do not make noises that would make it difficult for them to hear and do 
not stain the panels on the TV and make them white. Do not put yourself in between them and the TV. Since she's watching TV in here, I'll listen to my tape recorder in the bedroom. Hey, this is the one about the frog prince. Why is there a frog on the TV? That's so silly. Try not to interrupt people who are watching a movie or a performance. If you must pass in front of others to get to your seat, move quickly and quietly. Do not talk loudly or make disturbing noises. If eating is permitted, eat neatly and quietly. Do not hit or kick the seat in front of you or beside you. If possible, Stay seated until the movie or the performance is over. Sometimes on an airplane, this is appropriate too. This says, I wish I hadn't invited join John to the movie ever again. Look at John, he's just kind of going crazy there, isn't he? Try not to interrupt people who are resting or sleeping. If possible, stay away from them. Be as quiet as you can so you will not disturb them. Mom and dad need their rest. I'll be as quiet as I can so I don't wake them. Do you think a frog can tippy toe? It's important to treat people the way you want to be treated. If you do not want people interrupting you, you must not interrupt them. Thank you for not interrupting. That's it. I hope you like that book. My name is Carla and I will be reading to you again soon. So I hope you have a good night and sweet dreams.